Looking at number 52 again, if I wanted to graph this in my calculator, I could do that, but you have to think about the capabilities of your calculator. So in your calculator screen, you've got y1, and we usually put in an equation when it's solved for y. So I can do that with a circle equation. I just have to solve for y first. If I wanted to do that, looking at 52 that we already completed, put it into standard form for a circle. So I've got x minus h, y minus k equals r squared. What I would do is subtract the x minus 2 squared from both sides. And I would get y minus 8 quantity squared equals 36 minus x minus 2 squared. Then to get rid of the square, to take the square root of both sides, y minus 8 equals, I have to consider both solutions, so plus or minus square root 36 minus x minus 2 squared, add 8 to both sides, y equals 8 plus or minus square root of 36 minus x minus 2 squared. Be careful, even though this is a perfect square and even though this is a perfect square, you can't just take the square root of the whole thing. So I'm just going to type it into the calculator exactly how it is. So I go to the y equals screen and I have to type it in as 8 plus for the y1 and 8 minus for the y2 to get both parts. So I'll just do the first, first half. 8 plus square root 36 minus x minus 2 squared and then I can graph that. The plus 8 means that I've shif shifted up so you can see part of it. So I'm going to change my window to have a taller y value. So that's pretty much the top of the circle even though it doesn't look like a circle. If you want it to look more like a circle, what you can do is press zoom and then square, which is 5, and it makes the screen more squared so it looks kind of like a semicircle. So I could go back to y equals and put in the other half of the equation, 8 minus the square root, 36 minus x minus 2 squared, graph, that's the bottom half. It looks kind of like it's missing here. That's only because our calculator is not capable of graphing a vertical line. But that is the entirety of the circle. So if I did 8 plus the square root, that gives me the top half of this, so the top half of the circle, which is a semicircle. And if I do 8 minus, it gives me the bottom half of the circle, which is the bottom half of the semicircle.